Gentlemen, next week, the opening day for Not Scary Farm's 50th anniversary. This week, starting today, we are celebrating Not Scary Farm with our year-round tradition here on the Nights of Horror, Not Scary Farm Week. We just did it recently with Halloween Horror Nights Week. You guys seem to enjoy that. So we're going to continue with our traditions here with Not Scary Farm Week. Sammy, Not Scary Farm 50th anniversary, we got Legacy Store, three new mazes, a returning scare zone that's pretty much going to be brand new in a way, too. Uh, returning shows, including The Hanging, The Devil's Elixir. Uh, what are you excited for? Yeah, man, I'm super excited. We're coming off the heels of the announcement event just a few weeks ago. I unfortunately was not there. Tony was there. Um, so I got to live through his camera uh, by watching alongside and live stream and various other creators. Um, and so the anticipation is building. We're fresh off the hills of HHN week. Uh, we're not talking about that today, but go ahead. Um, watch the previous content. We've already put all, all of our walkthroughs up, um, as well as a vlog. So go ahead and check that out. Well, we're here to talk Knots, the 50th anniversary. Super exciting. And we're going to talk about those tickets um, and give you that ticket that you need um, to be able to attend this event. Um, so we're going to go through all of the offerings this season, including you know your general admission, uh, your season passes, and and various other bundles along the way. So uh, let's kick it off with that uh, normal ticket here. What are we looking at here, Tony? Yeah, general admissions are going to start you around fifty nine ninety nine this year. Um, that's one of the starting prices. Typically, the earlier you go in the season, the cheaper the ticket price is. Um, and general admission is obviously just going to get you in the park and get you through all the uh, uh, rides and attractions that are open that night on a general admission standby wait. Um, not much to it. It's just obviously getting in the park and just going to the event under a general admission ticket. So if you guys are on a um, on a budget and, and you want to attend the event, uh, and you know this is really all you can afford, go with the general admission ticket and stay tuned later next uh, later this week because we're actually going to give our game plan of how you can conquer Not Scary Farm on a general admission ticket. So uh, stay tuned for that. But yeah, general admission just really gets you into the event to see the Not Scary Farm event and whatnot. But on to our next one, the admission and meal bundle. Sammy, why don't you talk to us about this one this year? Yeah, so the admission and meal bundle is something new and available only online this year. So you're going to want to go to knots.com forward slash events forward slash scary farm to get that ticket. Um, this is starting at $74.99. So you're going to get your normal general admission alongside. Um, there's an entree inside from a list of a scary good menu um, plus a regular fountain drink. Um, so this is going to get you your general admission plus a little something, something extra, uh, you know, have a little bite to eat, a little drink along the way. It's a long day. Uh, a lot of walking, you know, a lot of dipping and diving through them, them monsters. So this is, uh, you know, we have your regular ticket. Uh, but if you're like, hey, I want to make sure I have something to eat while I'm in the park and I want to get that ordered before I get there, go ahead and go with our admission and meal bundle. Yeah, yeah. Um, admission and meal bundle brand new this year. So this is something that if you're on that general mission, take advantage of that because it looks like you get a nice meal with a drink with, with it. Uh, and that can come in handy at night, especially when you're walking around. You 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 do build that thirst, you do build that hunger, and all this all the smells are just amazing in that park, especially them funnel cakes. You know what I mean? Um, nightly all inclusive, another one that's only available online. Knots.com slash uh, forward slash events forward slash scary farm. Uh, this one is obviously gets you in the park, but you get the uh, select entree and side from the scary good menu options uh, with a regular fountain sized drink. And you also get Fright and Fast Lane, which means you get to skip all the lines all night long. That sounds fun. You get also a general uh, vehicle parking, so you get a regular parking with that, which saves you about $30 with this ticket. Um, and, of course, you get to save up to $110 off the front gate price. So that always comes in handy. This one, if you're visiting one night, is probably the one you want to you wanna get, you want to uh, check out. You want to get through everything quick, and you want to go through everything multiple times. There is some heavy hitters coming this year. So you're going to want to see those definitely. Yeah, definitely. And those lines are going to be long. Three new mazes. You're going to, if you're going to want to make sure you're hitting all three, which once again, we'll discuss a little bit later on our game plan. Um, so a nightly all inclusive is a great way to go. But if you're saying, Hey, I don't really care about parking. I don't really care about getting some uh, menu items. Um, you can get the fright and fast lane, um, which is basically an addition on top of your general admission ticket. Um, the fright and fast lane is starts at $145. Once again, like we've been saying, depending on the night you choose, um, it'll get more expensive. So if you're looking at one of those Saturdays in October that are right before Halloween, you're going to pay a hefty penny for that. Um, but if you're going to be using it on maybe a Wednesday, probably don't. But 
<laughs> if you if you do if you know if you want, if you're really concerned about it, uh, go ahead and get that Fred and Fast Lane for one hundred and forty five dollars or up. Yeah, I also forgot to mention the price for the nightly all inclusive. That starts at one hundred and ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents, and it goes up from the further you go and the closer to Halloween. Um, but compared with that, and that just kind of right there just puts your general admission ticket and your fright and fast lane right there on top of a entree and a uh, regular size fountain drink and general parking. So that might be the best thing for your buck so far if you're attending that one night. But if you're f- mega fans like Sammy and I, Wait, hold on. Before you, before we get to the the real exciting stuff here, um, if you're gonna get fried in fast lane, just buy the nightly all inclusive. Um, just based upon the wrong numbers here, general admission starting at like sixty bucks plus one hundred and forty five for fried and fast lane. That's already two hundred five. Um, and if the all the all inclusive, you're gonna get parking and you're gonna get the uh, the the menu items. I just do it. That's save fine. money. You're gonna save for your buck. Save your money. But yes, go into for. Our, you local hardcore fans. Yeah, local hardcore fans like Sammy and I, we do, we do this. Uh, we did this in 2019. We're doing it again this year. Uh, we're super stoked that this is returning, especially for the 50th. We wanted to go as many days as possible uh, that we were capable of doing, and that is the 2023 Scary Farm Pass. Limited quantities available now. We bought this when it first dropped uh, a while back, and uh, we're super stoked that it's back. We're super stoked that we're going to be able to visit Knott's as much as we can. But with this, you have uh, Not Scary Farm um, uh, Unlimited Emission all season long to every single night if you really want to go every single night. And the fun part about it is every single night you could celebrate the 50th. This is going to be a huge year, like we keep saying. Uh, and there's a lot of stuff that, they, that they're bringing back that should be a lot of cool and some brand new stuff that is paying tribute to the past. Um, I love each and every one of these properties that they put together, and I'm super excited to see what's next. But, yeah, I would say the Not Scary Farm is probably the best bang for your buck if you're planning on going multiple nights and you live locally in the area. That's only going to cost you $149. There's no, like, uh, dates that you choose that will cost it. It's just $149. You pay for it. It pays for itself after a few visits. So definitely look into that if you're a local. Yeah, definitely. If you're going three times, you're going to get your money. Um, because as mentioned, those tickets started about 60 bucks, two times to get you to 120, three times to get you up to 160. Plus you can go on any night. Um, so if you look into those different Saturdays, if you're saying, Hey, I want to go through, you know, make sure I get that Saturday before Halloween, maybe the weekend before go ahead and get this one. Um, but if you're really, if you bougie, if you real bougie bougie, we got that very important monster tour, which is their VIP experience. And this, you're going to get your admission to scary farm. You get a private guide for up to six hours. Um, along with Buffet, which we'll cover a little bit more, um, event t-shirt, general parking, and then priority access to um, all mazes, select rides, and select shows. So this is like, hey, if you're like, I want to, if you ballin' ballin', if you rich rich, go with this. Starts at $550. Um, so if you're like, hey, I want I want the best experience I can possibly have, do this. You're going to probably have a very knowledgeable guide. Um, so you're going you're gonna to get some more lore probably behind the scenes. Um, some more insight into how these different uh, mazes came to life and w- how what the story is between them. Um, so we would recommend this if you like, once again, you ball and ball and you really, if you really die, die hard, not just die hard. Like I want to be there, but like die hard. I want to know everything. And I want to make sure I do everything to the best of my abilities as many times as I can. Yeah, no, a hundred percent. If you really are coming from, especially from out of state or anything and you have the money to pay, this might be your best bet. Um, to get the absolute best experience and the lore of Not Scary Farm with someone who is super knowledgeable, probably a super fan like us. So should be a lot of fun. They did that. They did something similar last year. Uh, well, they they brought that hat for a while, but they had the uh, Behind the Fog tour last year. That was fun, and they didn't bring it back this year. But it's okay. Um, it's just super excited to be back for the fiftieth. But before I get to our our last add on that you can buy for any ticket at this point, uh, I do want to talk a little bit of something that's not on this as well. But you're gonna you can find on the site, and that is um, adding parking to your Not Scary Farm season pass. Um, I highly recommend this. I think we only paid about seventy or ninety bucks. I can't remember. Um, but it was it, less it than a hundred. It was about. It was 100. less than a hundred. Less than a hundred. Yeah. So 
you know, you pay the extra for the add-on, and that also pays for the parking the entire time you go. We're going to be going multiple uh, nights. Parking's around $30 a car. Um, so just using that like three or four times, it pays for itself. Same thing with the pass. Just going three or four times is going to um, pay for itself. So we highly recommend if you're going to go, if you're a diehard fan and you're going to go multiple nights, get that season pass. Get that parking add-on. It's going to help you save a lot of money in the long run. I promise you that. But our final expansion to our uh, to our tickets. This one you can get an expansion for any ticket unless it already comes included with it. But that is the, of course, Not Scary Farm Buffet. One of our favorite things to do in the last couple of years that we've tried it and had it. Uh, and we, we've done it a few times now. It's such a, a great experience to have, you know, um, all-you-can-eat buffet, some of the famous chicken, the boysenberry pie, all these amazing different foods. And then on top of that, you have it with uh, – monsters which is a lot of fun uh last year i remember virus was listing off a bunch of things you can't do while you're eating inside of a buffet that was super hilarious that's actually on our tiktok right now it's like one of our most highest viewed videos on tiktok um so that was funny but you never know what you're going to get at these you never know who's going to be there you never know uh from what zones are going to be there what mazes so it should be a lot of fun with that but with that, you get the all-you-can-eat dinner. You get a 2023 souvenir bottle, so you get free refills all night throughout the park. Um, you get a photo with the monster, and then you get early access to select mazes. Uh, usually, they do open the four mazes in the back of Gypsy Camp, which this year will be Waxworks, The Depths, Dark Entities for its final year, and uh, Bloodline 1842. Uh, so, yeah. Guns and The Depths last year. Yeah. It's The Depths last year, too, huh? Yes, sir. That's what the that's what the shirts are saying in the old legacy store here. Dang, the depths last year and Dark Entities final year. So two fun mazes. We're gonna make sure to show them some love this year. Uh but yeah. I highly recommend to if you're gonna go a lot, get that season pass with that parking pass add on. Uh and then if you feel like it every couple if if you want to do like one or two nights where you do buffet, you can always buy that online. Just be mindful about it. Some of them time slots do so sell out and you want to get as early as possible so you can get back there and hit those mazes real quick. Um, but if you're only going one night, I highly suggest uh, adding on either the Frightened Fast Lane Pass or just getting the Very Important Monster Tour. Uh, that can be the best bang for your buck. But overall, uh, you can. it is doable to do Not Scary Farm on a General Mission ticket. And later this week, we will explain to you what our game plan is to accomplish every single thing at Not Scary Farm under a General Mission ticket. Yeah, definitely. My recommendation is nightly all-inclusive um, if you can afford it. Um, so if you're going to be going only one night, nightly all inclusive, just going to get you everything you need. Um, if you really feel an extra spicy, throw that out on a buffet on there. Um, cause you're like, I want to do everything 15 times, obviously an exaggeration. I don't think you can do everything 15 times, but if you do do it, come back to this video, drop a comment down below because I will be excited that you'd be able to do something that wild. Um, or if you're like, Hey, I'm going four nights, I'm going five nights, I'm going, uh, 20 nights. I don't know how long the event's running, but there's a lot of nights. I'm shout looking at you, Denton. I know you're going to be there as many nights as possible. Yeah, for sure. Um, go ahead and get that uh, season pass. Add on your parking so you don't have to worry about that, and you'll have a great and grand season. Um, so but cool. go ahead and drop go ahead and drop another comment down below. This is for everyone, not just those people doing the maze every every attraction 15 times. Uh, go ahead and drop a comment down below of what ticket you are planning to buy, as well as maybe if you're like, hey, I want to link up with some other people. Go ahead and drop a comment on the date you're going, and maybe you can find a group to go along with you. 100%. We are just getting started with Knox Week. We've had a busy couple of weeks, but we hope you guys have been enjoying all the content that's been posted here on the channel. If you guys want to take it a step further, follow us on our social medias, at Knights of Horror on X, formerly known as Twitter, at The Knights of Horror on Instagram, TikTok, and Thread, and Knights of Horror Gaming on Kick. Of course, of course, be sure to subscribe right here on YouTube for uh, all our latest adventures, POVs, and, and wacky fun that we have on the channel. With all that being said, I'm Anthony, that's my boy Sammy, and we will see you guys tomorrow for more Knots Week. Peace.